Assalamualaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shreve Madhav, again here with another informative video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the parallel operation of the transformers on the MATLAB software. Before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the parallel operation of the transformers. The two transformers are said to be connected in parallel if the primary windings of the transformers are connected to the supply bus bars and the secondary windings of the transformers connected to the load bus bars. Transformers when they are connected in parallel, their terminals of the same polarities are joined to the same bus bars. If one of the transformer fails, the continuity of the supply can be maintained through the other transformer. When the load on the substation becomes increased beyond the capacity of the transformers, another transformer can be connected or added in the parallel. Any transformer can be taken out of the circuit for repair or routine maintenance without interrupting supply to the consumer. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the simulation regarding the parallel operation of the transformer on the MATLAB software. So now dear viewers, we have to implement this circuit diagram of the parallel operation of the two transformer on the MATLAB software. So the transformers are connected to be in parallel when the primary windings of the both transformer are connected with the supply bus bar. So this is the supply bus bar and the primaries of the both transformers are connected with the supply bus bar and the secondaries of the both transformer are connected with the load bus bars. Okay. So what are the conditions for the set spectry parallel operation? So the transformer should be properly connected with regard to their polarities. Okay. The voltage ratings and the voltage ratios of the transformer should be same means the voltage ratings and the voltage ratios of the both transformers should be the same and the transformers are connected according to their same polarities okay the per unit impedance of the transformer should be the same and the reactance and the resistance uh, ratios of the transformer should be the same so uh, the transformer when they are connected in parallel so their terminals of the same polarities are joined to the same bus bars as you can see the primary of the both transformers are connected with the supply bus bars and the secondaries of this with the same polarities are connected with the load bus bars. Now you can see the A terminals of the both transformer primary sides are connected to each other and the B terminals of the both transformers primary sides are connected to each other. Now this uh, emitter which is connected in series with the transformer A, this would give us the current which is to be shared by this transformer A to the load bus bar. Now this emitter which is connected in series with the transformer B, now this would give us the current sharing by the transformer B to the load bus bar. So this emitter would give us the load current which is flowing from the load side. So now implement this circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. Okay. So go to the MATLAB, so now this is the blank model and go to the power LIB, okay. Now the components we required for the simulation, okay. So we need the AC voltage source, okay. And we need the load, okay. We need the transformer and we need the ground and we need the current and the voltage measurements. Okay, you can take from the measurement block and also we need the display. Okay, also we need the root mean square value block. Okay. This would give us the RMS value of the current and the voltages. Okay. So now assemble the circuit diagram. Okay. As per this diagram. So now this is a circuit diagram. We need the two transformer. Okay. So make it two winding first. We need another transformer. Okay. This one. Make it R. So now connect this emitter with this transformer. This root mean is square value block would give us the 
primary current from the supply side okay as per the circuit diagram connect the 1a terminal of the transformer a with the 2a terminal of the transformer b so now this is the 1a terminal connect with this 2a terminal connect with this 1a terminal okay and then connect this 1b terminal to the 2b terminal of the transformer so now connect this okay also connect this negative terminal of the supply with the output terminal of the second transformer okay so now connect this ground with this okay now the primaries of the both uh, transformers transformer a and b we have connected with the supply bus bars okay now connect this voltmeter in parallel with the supply side now this is the voltmeter which we have connected with the supply side now this would give us the now this voltmeter would give us the primary side voltage okay the voltage which we are applying to the transformers okay now as per the circuit diagram we have connected the primary sides of the both uh, transformers to the uh, supply bus bars okay so now as per the circuit diagram connect the secondaries of the both transformer to the load bus bar so now this emitter would give us the uh, current which is to be shared by the transformer a to the load bus bar okay so now connect this 1b terminal to the 2b terminal of the transformer okay so this is the 1b terminal connected with this 2b okay now connect this emitter in series with this transformer a so this is the transformer a now connect this emitter in series with this transformer a now this would give us the current which is to be shared by the uh, transformer a secondary current shared by this a transformer okay and we need another emitter now this connected in series with this transformer b and also this would give us the current shared by this transformer b to the load bus bar okay so connect this emitter with transformer b okay now connect both emitter in series okay now also connect the load across the secondary windings of the both transformers our load is connected okay so now if you want to measure the voltage across the load terminal so we need another voltmeter now this voltmeter is connected in parallel this would give us the voltage across the load terminals so this would give us the secondary voltage okay if we want to measure the total current shared by these two transformer so connect an emitter in series with the load side so this would give us the total current from from the load side load bus bar so break the circuit connect another emitter in series with this transformer so now this emitter would give us the load current okay or the total current shared by these two transformers to the load bus bars okay now this emitter which is connected in series with the load will also give us the load current flowing from the transformer so now we have implemented this circuit uh, on the matlab software okay 
as per this circuit diagram okay so now change the parameters as per the circuit diagram now this emitter would give us the current which is to be shared by the B transformer okay so this would so this is the current which will be shared by the transformer B so this is the transformer A okay and this is the transformer B okay now Five e power three is the current power. Fifty hertz frequency. Winding one thousand volt we are given, and winding to four forty volts. Okay. Now same parameters for the second transformer. Thousand the HV winding and four forty volts. Okay. Now we are given the thousand volt and fifty hertz frequency. Now make it frequency fifty hertz of each RMS block. Fifty hertz, fifty hertz, fifty hertz, fifty hertz, and fifty. So now we have changed all the parameters of the circuit diagram. Okay, so now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Now our load is uh, 100 ohm. Okay, now run the simulation, observe the results. So now you can see this is the primary current. Okay, from the supply side 1.381 ampere. This is the RMS voltage of the primary voltage uh, which we are applying to the primary windings of the both transformer 707.1. Now you can see. The transformer A and the B both are equally sharing their currents to the load bus bar. Now the current which is to be shared by the transformer A uh, 1.553 ampere and the current which is to be shared by the transformer B is the 1.553 ampere and the total load current is the 3.107. So if you add these currents 1.553 current shared by the transformer A and 1.553 same current is shared by the transformer B. Now we are taking again 3.106 or 7 current, uh, which is to be the total current flowing from the load side. Okay, if we are changing the load resistance 150, now observe the results again. So now again, here the total load current is 2.072. Okay, and this is the secondary voltage output voltage. Now again, you can see the both transformer are sharing the equal currents to the load bus bar so 1.036 ampere shared by the transformer a and 1.036 current which is to be shared by the transformer b and total load current is the same one 2.072 so dear viewers this was the simulation of the parallel operation of the transformer that we have done on the matlab software so dear viewers this was the experiment regarding the parallel operation of the transformer that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have learned how to connect the transformers primary winding with the supply bus bars and the secondary winding of the both transformers with the load bus bars and also we have observed the results of the both transformer sharing their equal currents to the load bus bars measured by the emitters which were connected to the transformer both secondary side and the load bus bars. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shobhi Madhav for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering area. Thank you.